Hi guys, good morning and welcome back to another video. Um, today is the third lesson of Unit 7 and we're learning about cylinders. So before I start um, talking, uh, solving the problems, right? Uh, I want to talk about a uh, cylinder a little bit. So uh, from yesterday's lesson, we know that, oh, in the background today, we have Ariana Grande. Um, okay. <laughs> anyway, so cylinder is also a type of prism. Prism, we learned it from last lesson, right? In order for me to find the volume, it's area of the base multiplied by the height now. Why is a cylinder a prism? So this is from yesterday, right? So now, prism meaning that the top has the same shape of the bottom. Both of them are called bases, okay? So one is on the top, one is on the bottom. They have the same shape, and that's why it's a prism. So now, let's look at a cylinder. Cylinder is also a prism, because on the top, I have a circle. On the bottom, I also have a circle. So that's why this is also a prism. But we don't call it a circle prism, right? We call it a cylinder. So now, let's get to it. In order for me to find out volume of a cylinder, which is a type of prism, I need to find out area of the base. Area of the base. Now, a lot of students try to memorize uh, the area of the base, the formulas. It's given, but if you know area of the base multiplied by the height, you should be good with all kinds of prisms. So now, volume is equal to area of the base multiplied by the height area of the base hmm what is the base this shape on the bottom right this shape is a circle from the top from the center to the edge it's six inches so that means on the bottom if i go from the center to the edge this should also be six inches and we call this radius now from our first lesson we know that area of a circle is pi r square that's area of the base area of the circle multiplied by the height so that means it's pi radius from the center to the edge which is six inches so six to the second power multiply by oh i got choked <clears throat> by myself okay times h which is the height 11 inches now you could you can memorize the formula you could look at the formula sheet okay it doesn't really matter but if you know by heart area of the base multiplied by the height it shouldn't be difficult at all so that means it's 6 raised to the second power multiplied by 11 right multiplied by 11 it's going to be 396 pi if they tell you to leave it in pi you could leave it in terms of pi but if they didn't and you want to put it in decimal form that's also fine okay so we multiply by pi it turned out to be a thousand two hundred forty four point zero seven now inches since we're talking about volume right so it's cubic inches okay so now let's look at the next one now this is also a cylinder but it's kind of rotated it doesn't really matter if you want we can rotate it back whichever way that you like okay but everything is still going to be the same it which is area of the base multiplied by the height or people memorize it by pi r squared multiplied by h now pi stays as pi radius they gave me the 6.8 this is the diameter but i only want half of it so that means i need to divide 6.8 by 2 raise the second power 
h is the height right so some people think that oh Ms. Zane, isn't this the height no this is the base that's why we need to rotate it in the beginning to see that 18.1 is actually the height so multiply by 18.1 okay um so six can you guys all see this no one 6.8 divided by 2, 3.4 raised to the second power, multiplied by 18.1. So I'm putting everything in the calculator step by step. As you can see, I didn't input everything all at once because sometimes there might be a calculation error. So that's why I like to do it step by step. The answer should be the same at the end, okay? So answer multiplied by pi. You should be able to get 657. 0.33428 now inches since we need to find the volume it's cubic okay so remember to have the units at the end so this is the end of today's video again if you like your song to be featured um most of you probably already um see this but i'm trying to film as much as i can in one day so let me know if you have any questions or anything i am offering extra help the other day i was trying to do google meet uh by posting a link so if you do want to see any visual or anything in general just send me an email okay so we could we could talk about the time but i'll see you guys in the next video